It's unfathomable the sacrifices our veterans have made for our country. What Teddy Rentschler sacrificed years and years ago was a high school education. In 1943, military officials came right into the Hazleton School and pulled Teddy right out of class. It was that moment that shaped the rest of his life, and it was that moment that inspired the events of today and tonight's Veterans Voices. Every year, students at HMB hold their Veterans Day celebration. And every year, Emmons County veterans are invited. Ninety-five year old Teddy Rentschler never misses it. But this one would be different for the World War II veteran. They came to get you at school. You were sitting in the bleachers. You told this story to me several times and took you from the school during your senior year. A surprise some 78 years in the making. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to announce that the following students in front of you that has met and exceeded all requirements as determined by the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction and it has met or exceeded all course and community requirements as determined by the Hazleton Moffat Braddock Public School Board of Education. Graduate, when I call your name, receive your diploma. Theodore Stanley Branchler. Teddy isn't one to talk about his time in the Navy. Like most veterans, he'll tell you he didn't do anything special. December 17th, 1941. After the attack that threw the United States into the Second World War, Teddy was drafted and sent to Pearl Harbor. You see, soldiers on the front lines weren't the only heroes. Recognizing the need for an organization of skilled workers, to build advanced bases in active theaters of war. For two and a half years, Teddy worked behind the scenes in an elite group of skilled construction workers called the Seabees. They built naval bases with intimidating speed to showcase America's power to rebuild and reunite. And that would push the U.S. Navy across the Pacific and the Atlantic. Teddy was one of those unsung heroes who would quietly help to win a war. All of that brings us to all of this. A lot of pomp and circumstance. Graduation day, because Teddy never did graduate from the school he spends so much time at today. He comes to school every day to have lunch with our kindergarten class. But now he leaves with a brand new diploma, class of 1944, and a symbol of the fact that Teddy's sacrifices haven't been forgotten and never will be. Thank you, Teddy, for being you and your dedication to HMB as it has made it a special place for everyone. So I'd like to give a one round of applause for Teddy at this time. Teddy once said the CBs made pretty good money, about $57 a month. When he came back to Hazleton after the war, he had saved enough money to buy his parents a home for about $750. Theirs had burned down in a fire. Yeah, that's just the kind of guy he is. Yeah. Now, in peacetime, he found another use for the skills he acquired in the Navy. He was a carpenter for most of his life. And here's another interesting note. The CBs were a group created because of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. But to this day, they have continued to be a part of every major war fought by the U.S. since World War II. In the modern day, the CBs help with construction efforts in Iraq, Afghanistan, and all over the world. Thanks for bringing us that story.